Welcome to Black as Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadi. And this is going to be your general message where I just basically tell you the truth. Because I feel like nobody else will. So, let's see what's going on in your world. Let's light this Palo Santo and get this train moving. Gotta come to your prayers that you open up at the, my third eye for the collective. They want to know the truth. We want to know the truth. I ask that any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw off me, I ask that you grab them by their ears and drag them back to hell. Amen. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, collective. What's going on? Let's clarify. What's going on with the collective? This narcissist that you may know or you may have dealt with or are currently dealing with. The secret is this person is bisexual and not telling a soul about it. Not even you. What does the collective need to know? 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 You're going to have to let go. How to let go of this person. Time is up for this person. This person that's in the closet. This person that is going to communicate to you, reach out to you. This narcissist. This water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person is going through money problems, health problems. It could be an STD or mental health issues or overall health issues. Either way, it's a burden that you don't want to deal with. This person is going to come back around trying to love bomb you. Trying to sell you a dream of a happy life. How is that? How can they give you a happy life when they can't even afford life? This person wants a commitment with you. But if you choose to give this person another chance, it's going to be challenging. You're going to be making the wrong choice. God is trying to protect you from this person. He's also protecting you from a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Who broke too. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Let's get you some hidden truths. What's the hidden truth? This person wishes they treated you better. And they want you to know that being near you is intoxicating. You are their drug. Hmm. What's this person's hidden trick? What's their hidden trick? What's their hidden trick? Their hidden trick. They remember every detail of their day. They're afraid to contact you. <laughs> this is somebody who didn't want you to get close to them because then you will find out their secret. This is somebody who hid who they were from you. Yay. Bisexual. Same shit. Because <laughs> I feel like bisexuality is the gateway to being gay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Can't, you can't, you can't, cannot knock the messenger upside the head. Anyway, this person wants you to know that you are their drug and they wish they could take their words and actions back, but it's too late now. This person wants you to know that you were the best thing in their life and they know that they messed up everything. They replay you all's memories in their head and they are waiting on a sign from you. See, when that car lifted up, y'all saw that when I had my arm right there. The truth is, another secret, this person not even available. They're already in a relationship. I'm even hearing a marriage. Yeah. 
Let's get you some. Let's see what your love life is currently looking like. Current love life of the collective. Yeah. You done left this person alone. You done freed yourself because this person wasn't worth it. This person wasn't worth it. You were like, I, I'm good. You do you. I'm going to do me. And we're going to spread away like these. Bye. Current love life for the collective. Yeah, this person had too many red flags and you decided to leave this person alone. I even feel like you even you even picked up the gay vibes. Oh, you were scooby doing around here. Some ain't right. They weren't even spending money really on you because they were spending money elsewhere. On their main person. Current love life for the collective. Current love life. Current love life. Current love life. I'm hearing birds of a feather flock together. You got to start really seeing who people hang around. When you're dating somebody new or getting to know somebody new, see who they hang around. Birds of a feather flock together, my love. If they hang around broke people, they're broke. If they hang around toxic people, they're toxic. Cheaters, they're cheaters. Druggies, they're a druggie. The gays, they're gay. Just saying. This person has financial issues. They're a red flag. This is your ex. This is they don't even it doesn't have to ex doesn't have to mean somebody you dated. This ex can mean somebody you dealt with. Even if it was for a short amount of time. Either way, you decide to free yourself and love yourself first because this person wasn't worth a damn. Worth a red cent, baby. You decide to leave this person out in the cold. Bye. See, you had this you and this person had chemistry, a lot of chemistry. I really feel like you all had this type of relationship where you all felt like y'all knew each other before, where it could have been something very special. But I feel like this person had a lot of secrets. One being that they're in the closet, that they probably not even in the closet to be honest. I just feel like they're in the closet when it comes to you. Anyway, this person dibbles and dabbles, does their own thing, lives a double life, and doesn't even have the funds to live that double life. That's why you didn't get spoiled the way that you wanted to. You can trust this person. They're not to be trusted if they come back around because they're going to come back around trying to what? Love bomb and trap you back into their Charlotte's web of lies. It's not safe to love this person. This is not the one. So please don't give them another chance when they come back around trying to express their love to you. For some of you all, this person has children or has had been told that hey you're about to be a daddy you're about to be a mommy now this is recent or this person is just truly childish at the end of the day which is going to cause you to continuously leave this person run away from this person also this person is very controlling even though they may be attractive this is not your true love y'all don't have the same morals nor the same religious factor Out with the old, in with the new. So what's going on in the new? You know, what's new love looking like? Please let it be good. New love. It's going to be worth the wait. New love for the collective. New love for the collective. New love. New love for the collective. New love. New love. Yeah, it's gonna be worth waiting for. You're gonna be able to trust this person. I feel like you have learned a lot from your mistakes when it comes to relationships. I feel like this person that's gonna come towards you is going to have learned a lot when it comes to relationships. Confirmation. I'm here to pick the one off the floor first. This one on the floor first says, give it a chance. This new person that comes in, give them a chance. They will be healed. This person is going to want something serious with you. And this is somebody that you have manifested. Knowingly or unknowingly. God has sent you a little gift from heaven. Sent from heaven. Let's get you some advice. 
<sighs> yeah, I feel like what you've been dealing with is heartbreak after heartbreak, let down after let down, betrayal after betrayal, fuck girl, fuck boy after fuck boy after fuck girl. But God is about to send you a gift. It's about time. It's about time you receive that band aid. <sighs> Yeah. A band aid to patch up that broken heart. What's the advice for the collective? What's the advice? Oh, oh, God is sending you a gift from heaven because of what you've been through. It's like he's throwing a white flag. You've had enough. You've dealt with enough. I think that's enough lessons for now. I think that's enough lessons for now. I think that's enough heartbreak for now. I think you've learned enough, my love. I think you've been through enough, my love. It's time I give you a break. About time. Jesus. I, I don't reach for the love cards again, so obviously it's like something I need to know. Yeah. Oh, look, I said that he's sending you in a gift. Calling in a soulmate. Romantic feelings. Somebody that he's sending in somebody who is going to be your soulmate. Who you're going to have a lot of romantic feelings for and with. Who's going to be available and not taken. But when it comes to this person, not only do they not want a commitment and they just want to have fun, they're a non-committal player and a liar. Somebody who lies to everyone and never shows the real them. They're fake. This is somebody who has in the past done sex magic on you mm -hmm. to try to keep you stuck. So when this person comes back around trying to give you a love offer, don't accept any small offers in love, life, or anything. This person is too small. This person is going to come back around love bombing you to keep you around, like I said. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But anyway, start paying more attention to the earthly signs and Google them. Like I'm seeing 1310, look up 1310. Now we on 1313, look up 1313. This is a message for somebody. You need to start looking up things like bugs that you may see, birds, numbers. God is always trying to warn you about something or at least tell you something, motivate you. Yeah. I also feel like somebody that you, this could be somebody from the past, the one we're talking about, or this could be somebody new that you decide to leave in the past. This person that you have freshly started dealing with or freshly cut off, this person not only lack luster in their dull, not only are they going through a breakup, this person is a big lip liar. Mm -hmm. This is somebody that you done cut off. Somebody who's love sick, who's probably blowing up your phone right now trying to get your attention. But you're moving on to bigger and better things, leaving them in so much pain because they missed out on the opportunity to be with you. Hmm. This person doesn't have a car or a house because the relationship they were in, everything was wrapped up in the person that they were with. They came with nothing and are leaving with nothing. So walk on through that door when it comes to these people you cut off. Maybe that's your closure. Walk away. Hmm. Let's get you some agent messages and get you up out of here. Give me some agent messages. And, oh! Abundance in all things is coming. And you're spiritually protected. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And nothing sneaky done behind your back 
will will not come to the light. It's gonna come to the light, baby. Especially on your behalf. Need some angel messages for the collection. Need some angel messages. Need some angel messages. Take a risk when it comes to a new relationship or when it comes to your dreams. Know that you have some upcoming shifts in life, love, and in money. New things, new people, new opportunities. If you're feeling angry or stressed about something, don't be. Everything is working out in divine timing, okay? Know that you're going through a death and a rebirth. Birth, divine timing. Tell you. Guys, about to send you in somebody, baby, who's going to be your teammate, who's going to be your lover, your friend. And oof, you're a porn star. Mm -hmm. You're in line, you are in alignment right now. So basically, you're on the right track, baby. You're going to experience a lot of change that's coming. Good change, though. And whatever fell on the ground, let's see if I could get it without exposing my pre punani to y'all. Okay, so you're going through a transformation. Change, transformation, you're in alignment, you're on the right track, you're about to get this gift of love that God is sending you, you're going through a death and a rebirth, you got new things coming in, so take a risk, this is your closure. I want to thank you all for watching me this morning, and I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day. I want to thank everybody for the super thanks, as well as the cash up donations. Mm, makes my titties jiggle every time y'all support me. Mm. I also want to thank everybody for the, you know, y'all already know what I'm finna say. The personal reading bookings. I love y'all. Now, see y'all on the next one. Bye.